In this video, we'll be talking about absolute value inequalities less than. With less than absolute value inequalities, you have to remember that, again, the absolute value means the distance from zero, but that the distance from zero is less than two. So on a number line, in this particular instance, you'd have x less than 2. So not only would you have to talk about the negative 2, but also the positive 2, since the distance from 0 is 2 in either direction. The statement is true for that space in between those two values, positive and negative 2. This is a graph of a compound and inequality. It can be written as x is greater than negative 2 and x is less than 2. Notice that these two pieces only represent the piece or the line segment in between negative 2 and positive 2. If the absolute value is less than a number, we set up an AND. In example 1, we have 3x plus 7 less than 6. So we have to set up an AND inequality. Let's solve. Three x is greater than negative thirteen. Divide by three on both sides, and we get x is greater than negative thirteen thirds. And solving the other side, we get x is less than negative one-third. If we graph that, Negative infinity is to the left, positive infinity is to the right, zero is in the middle. Let's find negative thirteen thirds. We'll call this negative thirteen thirds, and right here, negative one third. From here we have to determine what's happening to x. Since x is greater than negative thirteen thirds, we have to have an open dot at negative thirteen thirds heading to the right. And on the other side we have x less than one third, so an open dot. heading to the left. So the space in which this whole and inequality 
is true is between negative 13 thirds and negative 1 third. If we want to write the interval notation, it's parenthesis negative 13 thirds, comma negative 1 third. Close parenthesis. In example two, we set up this inequality statement very similar to the previous one in example one. 4x plus 1 is greater than or equal to negative 2, and 4x plus 1 is less than or equal to 2. Subtract 1 from both sides to get 4x is greater than or equal to negative 3. Divide by 4 on both sides, and we get x is greater than or equal to negative 3 fourths. And on the other side, once again we solve the inequality. We get 4x is less than or equal to 1, divide by 4. x is less than or equal to 1 fourth. Graphing. negative infinity to the left, positive infinity to the right, zero in the middle. At x greater than or equal to negative three-fourths, we have a closed dot. Since it's greater than or equal to, it's heading to the right. At x less than or equal to one-fourth, we have to again place in a closed dot at positive one-fourth. Since x is less than or equal to one-fourth, this piece is heading to the left. Notice that the interval in which this and inequality statement is true is from negative three-fourths to one-fourth. So my interval is a bracket, negative three-fourths, comma, one-fourth bracket.